Okay, today I'm going to talk about adding and subtracting rational numbers. So put that at the top of your page and put today's date in the top right corner. Remember, rational numbers are represented as fractions, where they're both where the top and bottom are integers, and represented as decimals that terminate or repeat, like 2.3 repeating or 1.25 rational numbers. So that's what we're going to add and subtract today. First up, we have. Uh, Decimals. So we have negative 0 0.4 plus 1.3. Now, you have to be pretty good at positives and negatives for this, pretty good at integers. It's basically the same concept. Here we have negative 0.4 bad guys and 1.3 good guys. So the signs are different. One's negative, one's positive. When the signs are different, find the difference. So regardless of if they're positive or negative, let's find the difference. 1.3 minus 0 0.4. So now you have to go back to your elementary days and borrow. Here, 3 becomes 13. 13 minus 4 is 9. And we had to borrow from that 1, make it a 0. And bring the decimal. When we add and subtract decimals, you bring it straight down. So that's 9. 0 minus 0 is 0. So it's 0 0.9. Try number 2 on your own. Okay, welcome back. Here we have 0 0.3 plus negative 1.2. So we have a negative and a positive. The signs are different. Find the difference. So it's 1.2 minus 0 0.3. Here, borrow. 12 minus 3 is 9. Here, bring that 0. So 0 minus 0 is 0. Bring that decimal straight down. So we have 0 0.9. And the higher number is negative, so it's negative 0 0.9. Okay, now we're into fractions. Remember, when adding and subtracting fractions, you have to have the same denominator. You have to have a common denominator. Here, 8's our common denominator. Not even going to make you find it. But we have two negatives this time, two negatives. Remember, when adding and subtracting fractions, keep the denominator exactly the same. So we know already that it's going to be 8 because the denominator stays exactly the same. But we add and subtract the numerators. We have negative 7 eighths plus negative 3 eighths. It's basically like negative 7 plus negative 3. So it's like 7 bad guys and 3 more bad guys. You have 10 bad guys. So we have negative 10 eighths. Now we need to reduce that. You always reduce fractions no matter what, even if it's not in the directions. Divide by 2, divide by 2, you get negative 5 fourths. And then you can make that a mixed number and make it negative 1 and 1 fourth. Because 4 goes into 5 once, Sorry, 5 goes into 4 once, and you have 1 left over. All right, try number 4 on your own. All right, 7 is our common denominator, so we know that it's going to be 7 on the bottom. Here we have 6 plus negative 3, and that's like having 6 good guys and 3 bad guys. 6 minus 3 is 3, so we're left with 3 7s. Okay, now what happens when we subtract? Well, we do the same thing as the Dora method. It's still a subtraction, so we're going to make sure we keep the 8's the same because the denominators always stay the same when we add and subtract. But we can do this now. We can do keep, change, opposite. So it's negative 3 plus negative 5, and that's negative 8. So we have negative 8 eighths. Negative 8 divided by 8, remember, Fractions are just division. Negative 8 divided by 8 is negative 1. Try number 6 on your own. Okay, welcome back. Here we have 2 ninths minus 5 ninths. Keep, change, opposite. So we know that the 9 stays the same. And here we have a positive 2 and a negative 5. Two good guys, five bad guys. So we're end up, we end up with three bad guys. Uh, and now we have negative 3 ninths. Let's try to reduce that. 
divide by 3, divide by 3, we have negative 1 third. So these are basically the same rules as integers, but now we're dealing with fractions and decimals, or rational numbers.